Hi everybody, a very warm welcome to April's Spotlight Stamp Class. This is video number one and card number one of the four card set. This one's going out on Tuesday the 9th of April and it's using the Hills of Tuscany stamp set. So for the first card I've kept things very very simple. We've got a white card base and I've got a layer of Mossy Meadow card with a scenery sort of try to create sort of a photo frame uh, a sort of a what do you call it a polaroid type scene um so i've used some mossy meadow card and some white card to create my scene in so i'm going to show you a couple of techniques with this stamp set but before we get going i'm going to talk you through the set this is the stamp set that i've chosen and it's a little bit different for me it's not my usual style um, there was a stamp set not so long ago that was similar to this that I used and I really did enjoy using it. So when I saw this one, I knew I wanted to do a class and I was quite excited to um, ink up the stamps and be creative. So you've got a number of different um, stamps here. You've got some sentiments. You've got wishing you peace. You're in my thoughts. I just can't thank you enough. And hello. And I think I've used all of them, um, but I can't quite remember um, without looking now, I've used three of them, I think. And you've got this singer, this image here, which is typically used for the sky. But I've also used it for uh, to create sort of water at the bottom of this one. You've got your hip house and your roof, a sun, a cloud, some trees. And then you've got a couple of, of sort of texture stamps. These two here, this one here and this one here, I've used to create the hills. Um, and I've also used them to create some other things on the other card designs. But it really is a type of set, set that you can kind of let your imagination run wild. Um, for those of you that ordered kit, you've got a thank you card in your kit um, that's also been created using this set. And I've created a sort of beach scene. If you wanted to check back on that, that is on my Instagram profile as well. So talking you through your kits, you're going to need kit number one. And in kit number one, you will have a white card base. This is actually thick white card, <coughs> which is best for using your card bases. It's nice and strong like our, our coloured card stock. And it's just a little bit more luxurious than the other, than the, the regular basic white. Then you've got a layer of Mossy Meadow, which is our background layer, and a layer of basic white um, now this basic white you're going to stamp on it before you stick it down okay and there's a little bit of ribbon that you're going to tie around or say ribbon it's actually a linen thread and then <coughs> excuse me you've got this other piece of basic white which is for your center so I'm going to stick that bit in to get us started and then that's that bit done Oops, this goes on the inside of our card and that leaves just a little border around the outside so it also acts as sort of an extra thickening layer so it feels quite the weight of the card feels quite balanced okay so put the card base to one side and you're just going to need to work on this piece of white and it's not quite a square I don't think Oh no, it is a square, so it doesn't really matter which way up you use this. I'm going to bring in my grid paper for my stamping. Okay, and this is a piece that I've been using for a little while. don't like a lot of waste, so <coughs> I've just folded this in half. Now the colours that I'm going to be using, I'm going to use a pool party, which is for the water at the bottom. So traditionally, this stamp is going to look like this. In this set of cards, there's going to be a couple of techniques I'm going to show you. And I'm going to show you first two steps, sorry, um, first and second generation stamping. So first generation stamping is where we've inked up our stamp. And the ink that's on there is the first lot of ink that we've put on. So I'm going to stamp off onto my grid paper. And then I'm going to stamp onto my card without re-inking it, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm placing that stamp on so that I'll show you where this goes up to. That is the bottom of our card. So the top of this card is the bottom of the white card 
squared. So I'm just going to stamp a partial image, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up this scene, just this sort of C. I just keep stamping over it. And what that does is that gives you sort of texture in your stamping and depth in your image. So it almost looks like the, the water is moving or there's sort of movement, yeah, there's movement in that water, okay? So that's my first stamp done. Next, I'm gonna move on to soft sea foam. And for this one, I'm just gonna check which one I've actually used. No, it's not that one. Is, is it this one I've used? This is where I probably should have written things down. I think it is that one that I've used. Okay, so I'm going to now, using this stamp and this stamp, I'm going to add some grass. I'm going to just keep stamping and on this one I'm using first and second generation as well. And this is building us up a nice amount of texture. So you've got two sort of layers now. So we've got our pool, our water, and then we've got our hillside. Okay, so that's soft as foam done. Next, I'm going to stamp the houses. Okay, and um, for the houses, I've used good old crumb cake. Okay, so for crumb cake, and I'm actually going to stamp this house twice. Okay, so I'm going to start by stamping it ever so slightly off the page. Once, like so. And then I'm gonna stamp it again with, to sort of give you the illusion that it's a really big house. But you do get these sort of style houses in Tuscany. So those are my houses and they need some roofs. So for the roof, I have stamped in Cajun craze. And I've used, throughout all of these cards that we're going to be making, I've used the same colour combination. So these roofs, I'm going to line the roof up with the point. Okay, I find that is the most effective way to do it. So that's one. And that's two. Okay, so our scene is really coming together now. And then all I've got left to do are my trees. The trees are stamped in old olive okay and there are two different types of trees so you have sort of shorter ones and there are five of them and then you have long ones and I've used both of these so starting with my short ones I'm going to stamp them next to my houses first generation <clears throat> and then to give the illusion that there's more trees in the background I'm going to stamp that again I'm moving it over so that it, it's the, the trees overlap and then I'm stamping again. So that now looks like we've got trees in the forefront and in the background. And I'm gonna do exactly the same with the taller trees. There we go. So that there is my scenery, my scene all complete. So we've got our water, we've got our grass and then we've got our houses and our trees so now we've done that this piece can get stuck onto our green layering piece and you're going to stick it down so that around the top and both sides there is um, a small border of green card showing and then you've got this bigger area at the bottom okay so next we're going to do some heat embossing if you're not a fan of heat embossing, you can add sort of your sentiments on strips instead. But I, I do love heat embossing. So for this one, it says wishing you peace. Okay, so I've got my sentiments all here already, I think. Wishing you peace. So I've gone over it with my embossing buddy just to get rid of all the static that's on that card. And now I'm going to stamp 
in Versamark. So this should be in place. Tap off any excess that we've got. And then hit it. This is a great card to send someone as a sympathy card. Um, or maybe someone that's going through some troubles. Um, or just to let people know that you're thinking of them. Lovely sentiment, yes. And the scene is quite thought-provoking as well. It's almost like a painting. So that is my sentiment all done. Okay. Now, before I stick it onto my card front, let's just make sure I've got it the right way around. Um, I need to tie around some linen thread. Okay, so you've got linen thread in your pack. Um, that linen thread will need to do you for all cards. Okay, that we're going to make. So how I like to do this is I'm going to hold it in place, and then I'm going to stick it down with a little bit of washi tape, um, a little bit of double sided tape. I need to not be so heavy handed with this. That's what I'm finding. So hold that in place. Stick that onto the front of the card. And again, I'm leaving an even border around the side and the top of the card. And then I can tie myself a little bow. off your tails and that is your first card all finished i hope you enjoyed making it i will see you all next week next tuesday same time same place for the second card in april set thanks for watching bye for now